Hey guys, Dustin here. Welcome to another episode of Horritis and another edition of 12 Months of Foreign Horror. So for this episode, I wanted to explore a country where some of the most fun movies I've ever seen has come from, and that country is New Zealand. Now, generally, you might think of New Zealand as the place where they film the Lord of the Rings movies, or maybe uh, Hercules and Xena, for those of you who watched crappy daytime TV in the 90s-ish. But for me, New Zealand is the birthplace of Peter Jackson, who we should all know and love. So let's get right to it. The first movie is 2006 Black Sheep. When two animal rights activists break into a research facility, they accidentally unleash a plague that turns all the sheep into ravenous killers. It's then up to two brothers to stop the murderous herd. This movie has what I think is probably one of the coolest ideas. I've said it before, and I'll say it like a hundred more times if I have to. Zombie animals, probably the coolest thing ever. Although, these aren't technically zombies, they're more like the rage zombies of the animal kingdom. So if there was a zombie outbreak, these would be like the, the 28 days later sheep and not so much the Dawn of the Dead sheep. One of the best parts about this movie, hands down, has to be where one of those animal rights activists gets bit by a genetically altered lamb and becomes a were sheep. There's just something satisfying about that. Next up is Housebound from 2014. When Kylie has to move back in with her gossiping mother who claims to have a ghost, she thinks her life is over. But when she starts to witness strange happenings herself, she realizes there just might be some truth to her mother's claims. This movie's actually kind of hard to peg down on what kind of movie it is. It wants to start off and feel like a ghost movie and then maybe it could be maybe a slasher flick, but it's neither one of those and turns around at the end in a twist that you probably didn't see coming, but at the same time was both horrific and hilarious. And honestly, I don't want to like throw anything out there, spoil it for you, but the twist on what really happens there is probably one of the things that actually scares me for real. So if you're curious to see what that is, go watch Housebound. Next up is Bad Taste from 1987. When the population of a small New Zealand town disappears and is replaced with flesh-eating aliens, it's up to Derek and his friends to save the day. If you don't know what this movie is, don't worry, I don't think a lot of people do. This movie was the movie that Peter Jackson made before he made Dead Alive, aka Brain Dead, and of course years before he went on to make things like The Frighteners and Godzilla. I think the thing I like most about this movie is that the title really does kind of fit the movie in probably more than one way. Some people could consider this movie to be in poor taste and not just in the physical way with the uh, aliens eating people in the way that they do, which I'm not going to tell you about because I want you to go watch this movie because it's friggin' awesome. Last on the list is Deathgasm from 2015. When a group of teens unwittingly unleash a horde of demons with a spell turned into a metal song, they must band together to stop the apocalypse. Now, when I first saw the trailer for this movie, it was demons and metal and gore and my head literally exploded and my wife had to come in with like a mop and some super glue and put me back together again because my brains were everywhere. However, once my head was put back together, I anxiously awaited this movie until I could get my hands on it, and then when I did, I watched it and I loved every minute of it. This movie has, like I said, everything I will ever need in life, which is gore, metal, and comedy, and demon. If I had to pick one movie from 2015 that I recommend literally everybody watch across the board, the one movie from 2015 that I would recommend, it would be Deathgasm. Just throwing that out there. So that's it for this episode of Horroritis. If you want to see any more of these movies covered in depth, let me know and I'll definitely get on it. I'm already for sure going to do a full video on Deathgasm and then probably later on I will uh, do Bad Taste as well. But if you want to see the other two done uh, more in depth, let me know and I will add those to the list and get on those as soon as I possibly can. 
If you like this video, hit that like button, share it to your friends, get the word out. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. As always, you can get me in the comments below or on Facebook and Twitter, both at The Horroritis. In the description below, you'll also find a link to the Patreon page. Check that out if you're so inclined. And as always, until next time, I'm Dustin, this was Horroritis, and Derek's don't run. <laughs>